Okay, and we I guess we're I guess we're cooking. I guess we're on the air. All right, there we go. A little something. We're just waiting to see if anybody's connecting here. Uh, welcome to uh, day two, day two of our wonderful uh, trivia. Today has a little bit of uh, this and that, and uh, we're just waiting for people to connect. Uh, hopefully, everybody can uh, see us here on uh, the live chat. This is a uh, we did it yesterday. It was very successful. In fact, people came back and uh, they started doing it, even though we weren't there. Which was <laughs> oh my goodness! So we're just waiting to see if anybody's there. We go. Glenn just joined. Nice to uh, see you, Glenn. We're just waiting for a few people, and uh, then we'll begin. We're just waiting to see everybody. I guess you can hear me, Glenn. Can you can you hear that us? That was easy. That was easy. Yeah. Welcome to Glenn, ladies and gentlemen. He's here, and uh, <laughs> I've got sound effects for us today. That's exciting. I think people are going to sign up. We're just waiting for a few minutes. I've got uh, all the questions, all the answers, and today, Glenn, we're going to have a, a good time if anybody shows up. That's for sure. Uh, oh, there's one. There's one person. You. All right. So, and David Ginn is here, ladies and gentlemen. David Ginn, give him a round of applause. One of the world's greatest kid show magicians in the entire world is with us today. Maybe he'll answer some questions. We're going to do a little bit of this and that. We're going to do uh, some science questions. I know, I'm not good at it either. We're going to do all sorts of uh, little trivia questions, some about music. And uh, Mike Miller just joined. Mike Miller, ladies and gentlemen. He's here, right? Yes. Yes, he's here. Good. All right, and I'm glad that uh, we got three people. <laughs> All right, enough of that. All right, so there's three of us here. We're going to wait till we get a few more people, and then we're going to start our trivia game. People ask me all the time. They say, does this virus thing bother you? Do, what happens when the virus gets you? Anything? Is there anything strange? Nothing at all. There's nothing strange about me. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. Glad that there's, uh, we're, we're okay here in Bur Burbank. All right, that's enough of that, right? I should have saved that when everybody was here. All right, Bill. Hey, Bill's here, ladies and gentlemen. Bill. Glad to see you, Bill. Glad that you're here. And we're, we're very glad you could be with us. All right. Hey, oh, look, look who's here. It's Dan's, Dan's wife is here, ladies and gentlemen. Dan's birthday was yesterday, and uh, I forgot to wish him a happy birthday when he showed up. Hey, look, Pat, look. Picture my pride and joy. <laughs> David Ginn sells these by the hundreds. All right. <laughs> How should I know that? I got tons of these. All right. So we got a few people on. I'm just waiting for a couple more. Uh, people ask us what we're doing. Um, Dave, for David Ginn, there's all these uh, posters. Hi, Pat. There's all these posters and all these things back here. Those are all uh, magic tricks. They're all bins full of magic tricks I can't get rid of. <laughs> Who wants to buy magic tricks? They're just trying to buy a toilet paper. If I had toilet paper, I'd be a millionaire, but we're not going to worry about that. All right, so everybody's on board. We're going to start our... I'm going to put some people's... Oh, Eric's just joined. Good. We're just going to wait for... Two more minutes and then I'll start. I wrote down all the questions. We oh, can't see the answers. Sorry, I lost all the questions. And what's the prizes today? People say, what are you going to give for prizes? Say, kids, what time is it? That's right, it's Howdy Doody time. Magic Monday. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to YouTube. If you haven't already, my YouTube channel has all the uh, Magic Mondays and I'm sure you want to see those. That's right. <laughs> So, the praise prize is, since I am a magician, Dan just joined in. Pat, Dan's here. Dan, Pat's here. All right. And Bruce is here. He was here yesterday. Yeah, he, I don't think he won. I know that you're looking for gifts. You want to win prizes. <laughs> I have a ton of magic books, a ton of them. So, today's prizes, we're going to give you two books if you win trivia today. Look at this. World's Best Magic Tricks. And this one, World's Best Card Tricks. They're both like brand new books. 
If you don't want them, you can give them to your grandkids, you can give them to your children, you can give them to somebody in the neighborhood, have them learn a magic trick. Better yet, have them learn how to read a book. <laughs> and you can give them a deck of cards and they can play for hours. I know Bill wants one, I can tell right away. All right, Bill, didn't you win? Didn't you win already? Never mind, right? All right, so we, we're, we're all set. So we world's best card tricks and world's best magic tricks. Who won yesterday, Bill? I forgot. <laughs> it's only 24 hours ago. I can't even remember these things. All right, good. So here we are. You're going to win both of these books. This is the big prize. And if you don't want them, you don't get them. I'm, I'm just saying we're going to give out prizes. Here we go. Or I'm going to write people's names down. It's only going to... I'm going to... I'm going to <laughs> Jimmy Schubert. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's greatest comedian... Uh, in my opinion, the world's funniest guy, Jimmy Schubert is here, ladies and gentlemen. He just walked in. Nice to see you. Oh, Fran won yesterday. That's right. Fran can't win again today. If he joins, he joins. But Fran won yesterday. And uh, and <laughs> Leslie just, Leslie McKitty in from Las Vegas, he's uh, signing in on Messenger from somewhere else. So he's the, he does not even with us, but Jimmy Schubert's here. Everybody's here. So here we go. We are going to start in just, are the books virus free? Yes, these did not go viral. So you don't have to worry about that. These are viral free. I'm going to put them in a microwave and heat them up. So don't worry, <laughs> don't worry about a thing. They're all set for you. All right. So drum roll. There we go. All right. Welcome to this and that trivia. We have everybody signed up. Now, I have a 10-second delay with these chat things on the side. So if you get the answer, whoever's posted it first uh, gets a point. We're going to go until we're bored out of our minds. Right? Yes. All right. So here we go with our first uh, question. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to do sports. There's, we're going to be uh, do sports. We've got music. We've got trivia. And what else? Geography and a bunch of other things. And, of course, a couple of TV trivia questions. All right, and these might be easy. And they, Debbie, Debbie O'Carroll, my Irish friend. <laughs> hey, the luck of the Irish to you, it's Debbie O'Carroll. It's not my Debbie, it's another Debbie, but she's got the O in her. Nice to have you on board. All right, so here we go. The first question. <laughs> it's like Karnak. Sis boom ba. What's the sound of an exploding sheep? All right, there we go. That's the sis boom ba. Sports, yes. I'm going to do one sports question. That's all I got, Bill, so don't worry about it. Here we go. All right, and it's easy because it's numbers. you got to be able to get this. First question, here we go. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, all right, that's enough. All right. Yes! All right, first question. When Michael Jordan played for the Chicago Bulls, how many NBA championships did he win? All right, so. When Michael Jordan played for the Chicago Bulls, how many NBA championships did he win? First one, <laughs> it's Ed, uh, uh, Johnny, uh, Ed. All right, first question is, is when uh, Michael Jordan played for the Chicago Bulls, how many NBA championships did he win? Bill says five. Oh, Steve Gardner. Steve Gardner, ladies and gentlemen. He snuck in. He was the first one. I'm going to put him down. Steve Gardner. Yes, that is correct. Six, ladies and gentlemen. He got six. All right. He's got one point. All right. So, Glenn, you were just under the wire, but you got that right. But I, I will give you a point, too, Glenn, because um, it was like nip and Tuck. Remember Nip and Tuck? I think they were a comedy team. All right, so Glenn Pierce, Steve Gardner, welcome aboard. 
That question is off the book. Six was the answer, ladies and gentlemen. Six. Yes. All right. Now, here's the next question. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? This is a science question. I know Bill's excited about that because there's no classical music questions. But I'll be Bach. <laughs> Never mind. Who was the first woman to win a Nobel, Nobel Prize? The first woman... Yes, Siri can play. No, Siri can't play. Don't, don't, Dan, no. There's no Siri because she can't. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Well, who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize? And I'll give you a hint. It was in 1903. 1903, who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize in 1903? And here we go. Uh-oh, Steve Gardner's got it. Oh, my gosh. He has now got two points. Steve's up on the top of the list. And that is correct. Bill, you were second place. But I'll give you a uh, point anyway because you were second. And I don't think you were cheating. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, so you have one point. Steve Gardner's got two. And Trent has got... All right, Trent, I'm going to give you one anyway because... These points are free. <laughs> You're not paying anything for them, so yes. Trent, you get one point, okay? All right. The spelling count. No, it doesn't. You can get it. You can get the spelling wrong. All right, that's... All right, so that's Marie Curie. That's right. All right. Are you ready for the next question, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, shh. All right, here's the next question. Which planet, which planet has the most gravity? By gravity, I don't mean serious situations, but which planet has the most gravity? Uh, let's see what uh, anybody puts down here. All right. All right, which planet has the most gravity? We're, we're waiting, and let's have some music. Beautiful. All right, we've got the, uh, I feel like Howard Stern right now. Neptune. Oh, Bill. That's not right. That is not right. So we still have, uh, Steve's has got two points. Steve has got it again, ladies and gentlemen. Three points. He got the lead. Oh, stop with Uranus, will you? For goodness sake. That's right. Steve got that one right. The answer was Jupiter, ladies and gentlemen. Jupiter. We'll give him a round of applause. There we go. Perfect. So, yes, Steve has got three. Glenn has uh, one. Bill's got one. And Trent has one. So, yeah, those are the ones that we have so far. All right. This, this should be easy. Everybody should get this one. <laughs> All right. Here we go. In what year was the Corvette introduced? What year was the Corvette introduced, ladies and gentlemen? And see if anybody can get this one, all right? All right. Get shot. Okay, all right. All right, let's see if anybody can get this. What year? <laughs> Stop with Admiral Bird quotes, please. What year? What year was that? All right. Boy, it's quiet in here, isn't it? Oh, Bill, so close. 19... Oh, stop. Is Steve Gardner in... The... What is he doing, man? Steve Gardner has got four points. He's got it 1953. Dan, I'm going to give you a point anyway. Because you got 1953. Uh, Steve is killing us, ladies and gentlemen. He's got four points. I've written down four points for him so far. So he's got four. I'm going to run out of paper with him. But yes, Dan, I gave you a point because you got uh, 1953. So I have to scratch these off. Unless you want to do the same question again, it'd be a lot easier that way, I suppose. But <laughs> yeah, that's what. <laughs> All right. The next question. Now, this is a difficult question. I had to come up with one that was almost Steve's an old codger. Okay. And Bill, you know. 
Come on, grow up, will you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bill's crying back here. Come on, you're an adult, for goodness sakes. All right, here we go. The next question is a science question. Well, it's, it's a human anatomy question. Let's, let's put it that way, right? So, human anatomy question. All right. Which bone are babies born without? I had to look, I couldn't believe this one either because I, even after I read it, I said, no, that's impossible. But yes, so here we go. Let's uh, play some music. Oh. <laughs> All right, wah, wah. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, shh. All right. Oh, Dan, Dan has got that right, ladies and gentlemen. Kneecaps. Whoa, that is absolutely correct. Dan is the first one to chime in, so he has now two points, like he needs another magic book in his collection. <laughs> if you want to see a magic museum, go to Dan's house. Steve, I'm what do you mean you give up? You're way ahead. Don't give, You're not giving up. You just give up that question, I hope. All right. Okay, we're, we're cooking now. Steve Gardner is ahead by four. We've still got a couple more questions, so that's exciting. All right, so let's see. All right, so we got some more. All right, so here's another uh, question. <sighs> All right, the next question. What is the smallest country in the world? All right, more science. Of course, Dan, you'd want more science questions. You would. All right. Here we go. What is the smallest country in the world? Uh, <laughs> no, Bill, I don't have an Okito coin box as a prize. But thanks for asking. If I find one, I'll let you know. But, uh, okay. Oh, Susie. That is Susie, ladies and gentlemen. My friends from back in Massachusetts. Oh, Bill. Bill. Bill got it first. And then Steve, so yes, Bill, you are correct. You have two points. Steve has five points. And <laughs> Trent has two points. See, I can see there's a lot of people who have nothing to do, just like me. Oh, sorry, Glenn. All right. <laughs> so, Dan, you have uh, two points. And uh, Trent has two. Bill has two points. And I think Glenn left. No one <laughs> No, and Steve has got five points. All right, we're, we're cooking down there. We're getting down there. This is going to be, uh, uh, okay. Okay, now this one, this one is, a, this one's kind of easy. I think it's easy. It's a, it's a movie question, and it's about James Bond. Da -da 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 -da. Yes! All right, James Bond question. How many films did Sean Connery play James Bond in? How many films did James Bond uh, with uh, Sean Connery? Let's see. Oh, hi, Glenn. Welcome back. All right. Dan says five. Dan says five. Let me check the answer. Uh, Bill says six. All right. And uh, we're still waiting for the right answer. Glenn says six. According to the one I have here, uh, how about a, not enough? Six? Oh, boy, I'm telling you. I'm not going to rattle them off because I just got the answer. Five? All right. Uh, that's not right either. All right. We're still waiting for the right answer. Who's going to come up with it? Probably Steve. He's going to go back into his... Uh, Bill says four. Wow. All right. And let's see. Victor, Victor. Oh, you got it right seven times. We're going to put you down for the right answer, ladies and gentlemen. All right. He's got one point. All right. Seven films. That's right. You got that right. Victor got that right seven times. He appeared as James Bond in the movies. So uh, you got that one right. And Joe, I just see you checked in too, so I will give you, <laughs> Glenn, we're done, it does, it eights, Bill, stop, 
Stop already. All right, Joe, I'm going to give you one point. You're not, I don't know what you're going to do with it because everybody's far behind. But thanks for uh, loving and liking the post. All right. The smile. <laughs> I had to find questions from anywhere. I'm, I was looking for all sorts of questions. Now, we know what a male donkey is called. All right, let's not even go there. All right, we. <laughs> but what is a female donkey called? Ah, Johnny, what is a female donkey called? All right. And I don't need her phone number either. I just, just what do you, what do you call a female donkey? All right. So somebody's got to know this answer. I'm letting everybody have a chance at it. Steve Gardner's ahead by five, then uh, followed by a. Uh, Glenn and then Bill and Trent, Dan and Victor and Joe. All right. Mule, ass. Jenny, Glenn got that answer right. That is correct. Uh, you have, uh, I think you, you have three now, Glenn. That's right. Three. I'm trying to keep track of everybody. Glenn, you have that three. You used to have one. Steve used to have one of Jenny. All right. Well, I'm going to give you, you have five, but Glenn has three. So don't anybody, sorry, Raul. I'm sorry. You're right. I can't give everybody points. It's the first couple of... All right. <laughs> but we are ahead. Steve Gardner has a head. Uh, he's got five points. Glenn has three. And so on and so on. So I don't want to give everybody points at once. All right. I only got a couple more questions. And then you guys can go back to driving your car. Or if you're driving around town. Playing <laughs> lots of this at the same time. All right. A couple more questions. This should be so easy. For people that I don't even want to say it. All right. But here it is. Name the TV show from the 50s that starred two puppets and a woman. All right. That's that right there. That sounds like a a movie that you want to go see. Two puppets and a woman. It's, it's, it's crazy. But yes. All right. We're going to wait and see who gets it. All right, Two Puppets and a Woman. It was a TV show from the 50s. How far back was it? It was in black and white. That's right. People don't realize when TV came on in the early 50s, it didn't come on until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Dan got that one right. He is absolutely correct. He has three points. He was the first one to chime in. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Uh, Trent, you get uh, another point. All right, and that's it. And Sherry Lewis Show. Oh, Tony, you're so late. Tony Borders just showed up. I'm sorry you're late, Tony. We, we were talking about you while you were gone. But all right, so we're, we're still ahead with Steve. And then Glenn and Bill has got three. And Trent has got three. And Dan has got three. And there we go. All right. We're going to uh, finish this up because I know everybody's excited to go grocery shopping. We're not even allowed to leave the house here. Well, I'm not anyway. Okay. So that's why I'm doing this. All right. So let's see what. All right. See where are we, where are we going from now? Let's see. Is that, yes. Clamps, uh, Kukla. You're so close there, Trent. All right. All right. I'm going to do two, uh, two more questions about music and then uh, two questions, three questions that are left about television. All right. So th this, will, this will be easy because everybody... Has TV sets, I think. All right. All right. I'm trying. There's two There's two parts to this question. All right. In the 60s, there were two number one hits with uh, a woman's voice, a woman's name. One was Wendy and one was Wendy. Wendy and Wendy. Uh, two different groups. Do you know who those groups are that recorded those songs? Wendy and Wendy. Wendy. It's not easy to say Wendy and Wendy. So, yes. And it wasn't Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. They weren't even a group then in the 60s. So, Wendy and Wendy. Try to get them both, okay? All right. So, while we're waiting, I want to thank everybody for joining in. Having a great time doing these. I hope you guys are, too. And more importantly... The association is number one. That is correct, Bill. Do you know the uh, the other group that had a song uh, in the 60s with that? 
Chicago was one. No, 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 Tony. That was the association. That was that was for uh, Windy. Windy. Everyone knows it's Windy. Sing along. Who sing? Nah. But the second one was a different group that did Wendy. All right. Anybody know? Anybody know? I'm going to give that point to somebody who's... Yes, Steve Gardner got them both. Beach Boys for Wendy and Windy. Boy, I'm telling you, Steve, that is six points. Boom, he got them both. We all got the Beach Boys. Thank you for playing. How's things in the magic world where you are? Everything is shut down here. Uh, Las Vegas is a ghost town. Burbank, well, that was a ghost town before. <laughs> I really can't tell the difference. But, except for the fact that the... Uh, the mall is closed. It's like uh, sitting around watching a fly go up a drape. All right, we're going to do one more. Steve is a beast. You're right. He's getting them all. Steve was, uh, he was brushing up on us. Like, okay, I was trying to do a Groucho joke there. I was not going to. Okay, here we go. I don't know if anybody's going to get this. Was it which ex Beatle had a solo number one hit? We've got my mind set on you. Everybody knows Beatles songs, all right? Well, I got my mind set on you, ex Beatle, number one hit. I'm around the corner from you. I remember that song, Raul. I know you're just around the street there, I know. Down the street. So he's got good reception. He lives around the corner. I think I'm Palm, right around the corner. Ringo, Dan, one out of four. I'm telling you. Harrison, George Harrison. Timothy Wank, ladies and gentlemen, got it right, but he only gets one point. That's all right. That's all. He doesn't care. He'll take his point. But yes, George Harrison, Susie got that right. George Harrison, geez, you guys are, Jim Harrison, that's so close. That's <laughs> long lost brother. All right. And Lennon and Paul and, oh, Steve, Steve, you got one wrong. It was George Harrison. I got my mind set on you. All right, three questions to go. I'm going to give you uh these questions, I looked these up to make sure that they were real, genuine questions. So we're going to do TV trivia, ladies and gentlemen. These will be... That was easy. That was easy. That's a, these will be uh, questions from television. Everybody knows I Love Lucy. Who doesn't love Lucy? That was a great show, one of my favorite shows on television uh, with... Uh, Lucy and Ethel and Fred and uh, Ricky Ricardo. Now, Ricky Ricardo, he worked in a club. He worked in a club. What was the name of the club that Ricky Ricardo worked in? What was his club? Are you ready? Go ahead. And while you're doing that, I'll sing the baby song. She's having my baby, my baby in me. That was Ricky's song. All right, that, that was. All right, we're gonna let. Here we go. Oh, Bill, unbelievable! You got that one right, Bill. That's right. So you have four, four points. Bill got that one right. Raul got Tropicana. Oh, uh, well, like, need, like he needs a magic trick. All right, he can get him at the the raffle that we have every month. And oh. The Tropicana, Tim Graves, Trent got the Cabana Club, and Steve Gardner got the Tropicana Club. Oh, they all got it. All right. And so you all got it. That's right. The Tropicana, not the Copa. It says the Tropicana. It wasn't the Copa Club. All right. <laughs> I think they served orange juice there. I think it was Tropicana Orange Juice Club. It was perfect for that. That's how they made orange juice down there. When they weren't in the club. All right, we got two questions left. And Steve Gardner has got five. I'm trying to keep track. Bill's got, uh, what is he, a four? And Trent, a three. Okay, well, it's tough to keep track of everybody. But we're, we're almost to the end. Here it is. Since they had that club, the Tropicana, that Ricky worked at, in season six, Ricky bought the club. But he changed the name of the club to something else. Here we go. What was the name of that club? I don't know. That was Jeopardy music. I try to make it short. There it is. 
So what was the name of the club after Ricky Ricardo? You got some splaining to do, Lucy. Bought that club. Timothy Wank and his orange juice jokes. It's worse than my... Hey, by the way, thanks everybody for reading my jokes. I try to make everybody have a brighter day and try to laugh during these hard times. And even though the jokes are... <laughs> are bad. I just keep going. Oh, no, Trent. It's not the Cabana Club. It's not the Cabana Club. You're so close, though. It's something like that. But, yes. The leggy women are seeking down the high heels. Oh, yeah. You want the... Yeah, he's, she's up in the box up there somewhere. I have her hidden. Uh, Miss Vera. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, Glenn, for liking our jokes. Thank you, everybody. Oh, oh, Joe. Joe, you got that one right. It was the Babalu. That is absolutely right. Babalu Club. I'm going to give you that, Joe, but it, I don't know what, what goods are going to do you because you're so far behind. But yes, we, <laughs> we love you, Joe, but it was the Club Babalu. You got that one. It was Babalu. Club Babalu he changed it to. I didn't even know that, and I watch that show constantly. All right. Last question. I'd say a tiebreaker, but everybody's uh, everybody's kind of behind Steve. But here we go. This is this is uh, an Andy Griffith show from uh, the old Mayberry days, the Andy Griffith show. Here we go. Last question, Kathy Reynolds, oh, she and Kathy, from Gaslight Village to Costumer, my friends from, from many years, I've known her since I was a kid, a long, long time, and she was a kid at the same time, we're all kids, and uh, good to see you, Kathy. We're just wrapping up our, uh, our trivia questions here. I'm, I'm really glad that everybody's enjoying this. I'm trying to make everybody's day a little bit brighter and trying to come up with something. These are these are actual questions I've typed out. Some of them are written. Last question, ladies and gentlemen, for the official two books. I don't know what you think you're... Timothy Wank, Schenectady, that's right. That's where she's from. Uh, the World's Best Magic Tricks and World's Best Card Tricks. In fact, the costumer was one of our sponsors when we had a TV show called Up, Up, and Away. Uh, Jack and Kathy gave me all the costumes... I only took four of them. <laughs> and we gave them a credit for being costume designers on our little rinky-dinky up and up, up, up and away show. That they're all destroyed. They erased every one of them, so we never saw them again. Last question from the Andy Griffith Show. Who was Aunt B's best friend? I have to have her first and last name. First, who was uh, Aunt B's best friend's? And don't anybody put down pickles, because that was the, the <laughs> that was my f favorite episode when Aunt B made pickles, and uh, they were the worst pickles in the entire world. Uh, I think uh, I think Barney said they tasted like kerosene, but it was <laughs> Aunt B made pickles. I love that episode. So there it is. Oh, Bill got, got that Clara Edwards. Cl oh, this this is now the oh. Bill, you've got five, and uh, you have tied with Steve Gardner. Oh, man, is Steve Gardner still in the room? Because if he's Don Knotts, stop Tim Graves, stop it. All right, Cora, well, no, uh, Clara Edwards was right. Bill got it right. So we have a tie. We have a tie now. Oh, oh you guys are so good. But we have a tie between Bill and Steve. So both of you have to have a tiebreaker. I never, haven't come up with this situation before since doing this show for two episodes. So, yes, Pickles was, yes, Pickles was the wife on Dick Van Dyke's show. That's, that's correct. From our, our pal, Maury Amsterdam. That's right. Buddy Sorrell. That's right. So Steve, and this is a question now for Steve and Bill. So now i got to come up with one That's, I, that I had no idea that I would have to have a tiebreaker. But I've got to get something here. All right, this, this might be a tough question, but I'm sure Steve will get it right. I don't know. 
if if nobody gets this one right, we'll we'll just uh, keep going. All right. So here we between Steve and Bill. I know you're excited, Bill. I know you you can't wait to get a magic book. All right. In 1996, a man by the name of Robert Hoskins was convicted of stalking a star. What star was he convicted of stalking? And please, the pressure is on here for Stephen Bill. Please, no help whatsoever. Am I correct? All right, that's enough of that. All right, so yes, what what star was he convicted of stalking? And the year was 1996. Oh, that's right, we need a drum roll. Do I even have a drum roll on here? Yes, I do. Here, here it is. Uh, hold on. Uh, drum roll. I don't have a drum roll. I have a fanfare. Steve Gardner, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding Ladies and gentlemen, the winner, everybody applaud for Steve Gardner. He is the champion of the day. Steve Gardner, ladies and gentlemen. Whew, I cannot believe it. Unbelievable. And I'm very glad that everybody could sign in and join up with us today. You know, you know what? I'm very glad that everybody joined us. And thank you very much for playing. Steve Gardner, I will contact you through Messenger where to send your books, World's Greatest Card Tricks, and <laughs> World's Greatest Magic Tricks. Two books today. And well done, Steve, everybody says. <sighs> and everybody did a great job. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a great time as much as I had fun playing it. I hate to see everybody go because I ran out of questions. That's all. Thank you for all the likes and loves. Thank you for uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel so you can watch all the Magic Mondays. And if you are a magician and you want to be on Magic Monday and you have a magic trick or two, please send me a message. I'd love to have you on because I'm running out of magicians from the old days and the new days that uh, I want to per have uh, performed for or have featured on Magic Monday. So more tomorrow, I guess. That's what people ask for it. Kathy Dermott missed it again. She's in a different time zone. Kathy, I love you. Thank you very much for signing up and uh, appreciate it. And I'm glad everybody showed up. Well, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you. Have a great day. And oh, by the way, if you're watching this afterwards, you can still play along, but I won't be here to give you a, a prize. Good people were doing that yesterday. They're just playing along. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Try to stay uh, safe and have your food delivered. <sighs> Bye, everybody. Bye for now.